Hey, what's going on, guys? DJS here, bringing you guys this week's Collective Kicks weekly recap. It is Friday, the 18th of July, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and go over this week's uh, sneaker news. Just a heads up to you guys out there that actually watch this uh, video every week. Uh, kudos and thank you to you guys, but just a heads up, I am going to be moving this series uh, in about two weeks to be on um, Sundays going forward, because uh, with the new job that I'm going to be getting, it's going to be really impossible to record these on Fridays and get them up for you guys. So Sundays is more uh, realistic, and that will be what will be happening uh, going forward. Uh, so they will continue just on a different day. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and go over this uh, week's news. There's lots of stuff uh, going on as usual. Uh, we have the Wave Way 2 305s that were available today. If you guys are interested in that colorway, check those ones out. Um, as you guys know, I'm definitely an advocate for the company they have great quality leather and the, the build quality is nice it gives you a very og feel to um, a sneaker with premium materials which is great um, check out that article and uh, you can see that you can use a promo code for free shipping as well if you guys didn't order those already today i, I don't know if they sold out i don't know if um, i didn't honestly check yet myself um, there is a uh, nike roshi run uh, hype team red colorway if you guys want to see that one uh, brandon wrote that article <clears throat> And P. Jung, 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 I'm such an, a, a noob. i, I got to get his name right going on. PJ, I'm just going to call him PJ going forward, the homie PJ. Wrote another article. Uh, what happened uh, was Nike.com this morning. Uh, the KD6 Elite release, technical difficulties. It's interesting that people actually really want this one because it's $200. It is an Elite model, and typically the KD6 Elites don't sell out. So it's interesting that this one's getting a lot of hype. It's been rumored to be a lot more limited. Um, I don't know if that's the reason why. Who knows? But uh, but regardless, it's kind of cool to see. And those will be redropping. You, you guys, I don't know if I'll get this video up in time, but it's going to happen at 1 o'clock. Um, what is it? 1 o'clock uh, PST, I think. They they sent up a tweet. Actually, I'll check it real quick. And, and it says, yeah, 4, four um, Eastern and 1 o'clock PM um, uh, Pacific uh, Standard Time. So if you lucked out, I guess, on those. Um, good for you guys. I don't know if I'm going to try them or not, or if I'll be around. If I'm around, I might try just because I do like the Elite. I'm not a huge fan of blue as much. And to me, the best Elite KD colorway already dropped in the gold collection with the white and the mango and, and the gold. Love that colorway. It's just super, super clean. Actually, I might wear those today just for fun. Um, Nike Hyper Dunk 2014 on Nike ID. Did a couple designs there, show you the whole, whole angle. Um, because it's a new model, I wanted to show you guys every angle of the shoe, so check out that article if you want to see that. Also, you can design your own. Hashtag Collective Kicks ID on Instagram, and then it'll give me the um, that hashtag like, so I'll see them you know, in the future going forward. So I like, I like to be able to see those hashtags of what you guys design. Um, Nike Dunk High Premium SB Tie-Dye available. Uh, if you look at the shoe, actually I'll click on the link to show you guys the shoe real quick. Um, the shoe, look at this. Wear better underwear. Nice advertisement. <laughs> what is that? Tidy whities Awesome sauce. Okay, so we have this. This is a, so like from these first two images, you're like, dude, that's awesome. Look at the tie dye Nike logo, the tie dye insole, and then you look at the thing and you're like, what? Why would you do the? Why would you do the tie dye in all brown? Or is is it brown or black? Based on the collar color of being black, I, it looks like it's brown. Gum soles a plus, but to me, this shoe would have kicked major ass if it would have done. The tie dye color over the entire upper. Please release a pair of those Nike SB. That's what I. That's my request. I think that would be awesome. Okay, so that's that one. If you still like that one though, it is available. Uh, there's a link in the description on that article, uh, so you can actually go to the website from the description of this video if you want to go ahead and uh, order those or whatever else you might be uh, interested in uh, looking at. So, will the $400 Jordan Shine be bright? Will the the shine bright. Will the shine shine bright? So that's the kind of magic question. They drop on the 26th next week um, in a black and red colorway. I think the black colorway looks really sick. I know that the red kick is, is there. All red everything. I, I'm always one of those things. I'm always the, the person that likes the, the black um, model or whatever, like the all black everything. Um, but the red ones look cool too. <clears throat> Will they sell out? Yes, I predict absolutely. I do think there's going to be a resale on these personally, um, just because the I think from what I've been hearing, it's going to be more limited than uh, what people are expecting. But maybe that's because um, the price point is so high. Maybe the price point being so high, it's going to deter people to buying them regardless. Like with the Jordan Five retros, it was a kind of a nice tester with a Brazil pack at five hundred dollars, and 
with some of the other uh, the champagne cigars at 250 Really pushed the limits on those. Resales on those, not very high. The Jordan Shine, not an iconic uh, model, but a $400 price point, and it does have premium materials. Um, I haven't seen them in person. Well, actually, I have, uh, I have seen them in person. I didn't take an interest to pick it up and actually hold it and look at it very closely, but um, I actually met the designer that designed these shoes as well as the um, the Jordan Futures, and the Futures have a lot of cool things coming um, that hasn't actually released yet, so like be on the lookout for that uh, coming up. But I think these Jordan Shines are going to do fine. Um, I think there's going to be somewhat of a resale be just because with the Yeezys came and gone now, like there's going to have to be something that fills the void of that kind of type of sneaker, non-performance based um, lifestyle type sneaker. And will the Jordan Shine be that? Absolutely not. But um, it's still something that I think that people are going to to grab and it's just more of a, a status symbol like I know like the, the designer you know leather shoes that they have out there um, are kind of like the status sort of thing but I don't know I guess we'll see put the Jordan name on it add some quality materials to it looks like an AJ1 slash AJ future sort of you know like I think it will do well but again we'll see I mean I'm not the predictor of it I'm just that's just my own two cents personally thinking what's gonna happen I could be totally wrong it, they could be at outlets for 200 bucks. I mean, I guess we'll we'll see. $400 is a little bit steep though. Actually, it's a whole lot of bit of steep. It's just way more than I would want to pay for a sneaker. So, if I had the opportunity to get them, will I pay $400 for it? Nah, depends on the week. I did get a just a nice little raise, so I mean, I could probably afford it. I just don't know if it's a smart thing to do. I'd rather buy something else with it. I need a set, I need a I need a um a center channel still for my my TV set, so I'd probably rather buy that. Uh, than the, the shines, but anyway, it is what it is, um, Bodega Saucony, a polka dot pack, if you guys want to see the, actually, that's the only image, it's just a little bit bigger inside, it's all we have for right now, it's set to um, release on August 9th overseas, no word on the US release, the purple pair looks pretty dope, though, it kind of has that, um, I don't know, that green and that, that purple to me just remind me of like 80s cartoon villain for some reason, I don't can't put my finger on which one. But it just, for some reason, it does. It kind of looks like a superhero vil villain pack, if you look at it. Like, the blue and the reddish one, obviously, like, the Superman-ish, whatever, sort of superhero. And then the purple and green and black looks kind of like the, the villain. I don't know. I am just made up my own superhero pack. Somebody should pay me to do that. <laughs> uh, and then we we saw the, um, the Ricardo or whatever, Nike, Air Force One collection in black. Which is crazy that it, it generates so much hype, and everybody thinks and says that the Air Force One is dead, but those things can be at two hundred dollars, three fifty for some of the the higher models, because there's like four different models, and they'll sell out instantly. I'm like I'm baffled by that. And it shows you guys that the resale market or the hype market really controls um a lot of sales. Like maybe people are buying these to flip them, but if you're paying I, I said this the first time around with the white pair. If you're buying them for two fifty or three hundred dollars and you're selling for three sixty you're not making any money. Like, I, if you guys want me to do a video or an, an article on a breakdown of all this, that stuff. I mean, I know eBay pretty well. I know fees, eBay, PayPal fees, and price point breaks that you have to hit in order to make a profit. And it's not, it's not a lucrative business sometimes. And sometimes people don't get that. They, they think it's a, it's a crapshoot. Sometimes you get a shoe that's really limited in it, in it, and you know you can make a hundred bucks on it in, in, a, in, in that week. Other times. You buy something that's limited and and you literally won't make any money on it. So it's just it's funny to see. I could give you guys more insight on that if you guys are even interested. Um, leave a comment. Um, Air Jordan or hit me up on Twitter and leave, let me know you're interested. That's even that that actually is easier because then I check that more often. Um, Air Jordan Six Retro, uh, the history of Jordan uh, releasing in August. Interesting that it's released in August. I would have thought these would have been better holiday release sometime because of obviously the colorway. They should have just, I mean, I understand the theme, history of Jordan, but it looks like a Christmas shoe to me with the accents of green. If they would have pulled the green off and, and added black, more black on there, um, or even more hits of white, I think it would have came off a little bit better personally. But anytime, anytime you combine green and red to me, automatically Christmas. Obviously, most people, orange and black, it's usually Halloween, but... Um, nonetheless, I still think it's a clean looking model and I want to know how the leather quality is on those. I actually haven't seen these, those ones in person yet. Um, I did see all the retro, uh, remastered series in person, everything that we've seen images of, 
uh, online so far. So there's like eight models or something. Just amazing looking sneakers. Um, the all red Jordan tens, the, I really, with the cement on them, I really want those ones. Um, the Chicago tens with the 45 Nightwing and I saw like a lot of cool stuff. And those are a couple of things I'm pretty sure we're allowed to say we saw because I mean, there it was public that they're going to uh, be dropping those things. But anyway, throwback Thursday video episode eight from kicks reason, uh, check out his, I need to add his, I'm not sure if I added him to my playlist. If I didn't, I'm an idiot. I need to add him to my playlist of throwback Thursdays. And, um, Let's see here. What else? Uh, PJ <laughs> wrote uh, an article on on this uh, public school Air Jordan ones. These things look pretty rad. I mean, it, I wanted. I don't know much. Actually, I'm gonna click on his article because I didn't. Um, I'm glad he covered this before I was able to check it out. So those are the images we have so far. Unfortunately, I want to see what the sole looks like. Clear soles. Uh, looks like cement on the bottom. Looks really rad, dude. Very very cool uh, model. If you want to read some of the stuff, it's there. Uh, but uh, definitely want to know more about that. Performance meets style fall 2014 women's apparel. That's another something for if you're thirsty, you can look at this stuff because <laughs> this this chick is like a model chick and uh, she's doing like all these workouts. And if you guys didn't notice, I did this different now too. The slideshow is work and they actually, it's a different type. It's like the standard across the board. So pretty cool. That chick, the blonde chick is like a model chick and she's like super duper skinny and I don't know I don't like model chicks like that I like them to be a little bit more athletic but for a skinny model this look at her arms dude this chick's ripped so that's kind of cool um but there's a video down here that if you guys should watch it says uh in a day in the life with her Carly Kloss or whatever her name is um it's kind of a cool video it's worth uh like reading or whatever um or reading watching the video if you guys want to um Reebok Court Victory 2014 Retros uh from Kicks Reason more that's kind of cool that they have some tennis uh, pumps there with the little tennis ball on the pump, it looks like. I like that. And then Kicks uh, 808 did this uh, this same article on, on the Jordan Future, and I just did a different one uh, than what he did, so kind of doubled up, but it's all good. And Asics um, Ubic, I believe it's Ubic. Um, Samar wrote that one for the GT Cool. And then I did a comparison. Um, there's actually a video uh, attached to this one where the person actually has a comparison between uh, retail and a replica pair of the what LeBron. So you can see that some of the differences between the two. Very crazy how similar they are, but it's just important to be educated because the bottom line is is if you're down with the replica, replica community or not, it's important to know the difference so you're not paying for something that it's not. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would be pissed if I was buying a pair of what the LeBron's for $1,000 and it actually was a replica that I could have bought myself on a rep site for for. 150 or whatever it might be, you know, like, or $80 or however much they are. So just got to be careful, man, and make sure you get those receipts if you're uh, going to be buying those. No idea when the U.S. release date is. A lot of people are hitting me up asking me. I have no idea. I don't have any real inside looks at the LeBrons at all um, from an Inside Connect pr um, perspective. So no idea whatever happens. I'm always, I'm def definitely a super fan consumer with that. So when they drop, hopefully I'll be around. So that's. I don't know. Hopefully, the hopefully they drop still because I definitely want a pair. Um, Nike SB uh, Dunk Low Quarter Snacks images. I don't even know what this is. I think Quarter Snack is like a um, a shop from what I was reading. Pretty cool looking model though. Like just black suede upper, white midsole, gum gum sole bottoms with little quarter snacks on it. Um, a couple logos. Kind of it's well branded. Looks cool. It's kind of generic, but at the same time, I like the the simple and, and clean look. On the opposite side of that, you have the Brooklyn Projects uh, Walk of Fame 2 teaser with that crazy little star, whatever that is, bottom underneath the clear sole. Uh, that's the only teaser we have. We have no idea what the uh, upper looks like, but I'm assuming it's a Walk of Fame 2 because if you looked at the image, the um, Brooklyn, Brooklyn Projects actually hashtagged it uh, Walk of Fame 2. So I was like, okay, that has to be it. I didn't actually even think that until they, they said that. But I missed out on the first ones. I, I know I could probably get them close to retail still. Um, very cool shoe, so curious to see what they're bringing. Air Max Pillar review from Kicks Reason. If you want to check that out, check out that link. And also, we did a, a, a Reebok Pump Respect Pack um, article here. There's quite a few pumps down there. I still gonna get myself some Puma Puma um, or not the Pumas. The, the that's actually another one I like. The Puma Disc and and the the Omni uh, pumps or whatever whatever the Insta pumps <laughs> the Omni Insta ones. So it shows you what I know about those brands, right? Look at more undies. Woo. Okay, so tips, how to lace your KD7s. I did a video on that. If you guys wanted to see that, you can check that out. I usually double up. If it's a sneaker tip or if it's a review, I'll put it on the website. If it's an unboxing, I don't even touch it on the website. But this has um, 
you know, it has replay value years down the road if you guys are curious how to lace your KD7s or if, I mean, I'm not, anyway, you, you can watch the video. Uh, i give you guys some suggestions. You don't have to obviously listen to them. There is rumored to be a Shoe Palace restock September 10th. Lots and lots of sneakers, 23 different sneakers. Check out that article if you're interested. Uh, lots of Jordans and stuff like that coming. Um, so if you missed your chances earlier, there, you might be able to, to pick them up on the Shoe Palace restock. I don't have too much luck on their, their website. A couple times I've gotten some stuff, but not too often. And uh, Converse Con's Weapon Skate shoe was announced. Looks pretty clean, actually, with the black upper, red liner, white midsole, and gum bottoms. Um, I don't think they're going to get a lot of hype, but it's kind of cool to be able to see some of the stuff that comes out from Converse as well, since it is owned by Nike. And uh, let's see here. The Flyknit Air Max Atomic Volts and or Atomic Orange Vivid Blue Volt colorway. Definitely some, turned some heads. I like the upper. The the bottom was just crazy with the the variegation between the green and the blue. It's a, it's a pair of um, Air Maxes that I probably want that I probably never get just because I like the Lunar Lawn. I, I I think that Air Max. I know it's not dying, but it should be evolving. You know what I mean? Like it's been there for years. Ninety five, nineteen ninety. Like it, there should be some sort of an evolution point for that Air Max uh, where they sculpt it differently. Maybe they are doing it. I just have no idea. Um, I have to say that the LeBron 11 lows are mad comfortable with the, with the air that they have in there. So I don't know if they are adjusting the PSIs in the Air, air Max bubbles, but they're I mean they're more comfortable. But I always worried about popping my air. Like I have a pair of LeBron sevens that I bought used or not used. They're new from another uh, person, and I don't know what the hell happened, but one of the air pockets is totally busted, and so I can't even. I'm, I mean I'll never really be able, be able to wear them because of the air po pocket being broke down but it is what it is so this is again the supremacy release date obviously today this is a cool article um in my opinion because it was an original one that i wrote <laughs> but uh ball and twin um had an unreleased midsole prototype of the uh, air jordan 11 which is just cra look at that mid look at that midsole on that jordan 11 just crazy looking jordan 11 um this guy has crazy stuff so follow him on his instagram very cool him, it's actually two two brothers. There's two twins, um, but he has these ones and he shows some uh, uh, Brad's next to him. How crazy would it be if the Jordan 11s looked like that though? It's I thought it was like a hybrid at first, and I was like, holy crap! It's like a prototype, uh, and it's legitimate. It's not like a fake or anything like that. So definitely cut some cool stuff over there. Um, Air Jordan Six, a Black Oreo release coming out possibly. I think that looks crazy. I actually really like it. Um, I like the I like when they do the sixes with leather and suede, which it looks like this one is, um, versus all leather or whatever it might be. I like it how it how it segregates the, or it separates and has like the two different types of um, materials there. I think it looks better that way personally. But uh, I'm curious to see when those ones are dropping or what's happening. I haven't some of the things. So just so you guys know, I, I yes I can get information on releases. Sometimes I can't disclose the information, but that doesn't mean I check for everything. So sometimes I just go along. With a vibe, and if, if people like are um, posting images of a new model that's that came out, I'm not gonna check every single per time that happens. My sources would be pissed, and or just just I'd be that annoying dude. So I don't do that unless it's something I'm really really interested in. This is one of those ones. Where, uh, in passing, I, I probably should just mention it, but um, it looks dope. I really like what they did with it. It's a simple colorway, but it, um, and it's kind of the reverse um, black Oreo or the from the white Oreo sort of it's not really a full reverse but you know what i mean anyway it looks nice uh reebok instapump fury and uh, beauty uh and youth of japan i'm not sure what that is but kicks reason does know so you check that out and it looks like it dropped on the 19th or it does drop on the 19th tomorrow um look at this i said not safe for work but it really is i mean there's just there's no nudity obviously it's nicole scherzinger which she is like i would take nicole scherzinger scherzinger over um, Kim Kardashian like any day. I think Nicole is way hotter. But this video, there's a video in here if you guys want to see it where she was like twerking a bit. But I made it relevant because she actually has Nike Dunk Sky Highs on her feet. So I was like, that's newsworthy. And it's funny because Ben Baller, um, if you don't follow him on Instagram or, or Twitter, he uh, he owns like like his own company or whatever. For, he did, does all the diamond stuff for like all the celebrities. Anyway, big big time dude. But uh, he sent out the links. He's or he didn't even send out a link. He said N Nicole uh, twerking. He's like, oh my gosh, like sweet baby Jesus or something. And and then I looked it up and then I found the video and then I wrote the article and then I sent him the article saying, dude, um, I'm like, thank you so much for sending that um, tweet out because I uh, 
I saw that tweet and I looked it up and I made it newsworthy because he's wearing Nike Dunks. And he uh, he actually wrote back, and or he just wrote back LOL to me. But it was kind of cool that he actually saw my message. Sometimes it's fun. I mean, it, I call me a nerd. It's kind of starstrucky, but it's kind of fun to be able to get replies back from people. Um, uh, Nike Air Max Lunar 90 Moon Landing. Those dropped this weekend. Very. I don't know what where they're all dropping to be honest bodega maybe stuff like that it's kind of the more boutiques i don't think it's dropping online on nike.com it could be wrong they look crazy though like the whole lunar print looks awesome with it and then i actually thought these were custom at first glance but um because of the the, the stars and and the stripe or whatever on the back tab but they're not customs it's a real deal thing De- definitely crazy looking and wanted to see more about of those definitely want to see them in person see how the print is um uh, Evan wrote an article on the Adidas ZX Flux. If you guys want to check out that, some new colorways it looks like, uh, or the graphics possibly. No way. If you're a fan of the, uh, yeah. So it's not the graphics, just more styles coming out for those. That I did a detailed review of the Kill Bill, uh, Bruce Lee, um, kind of the Nike ID KD7s that I, that I uh, designed there, uh, which I really do like. And shout out to Complex for featuring me. I think it was Complex or Soul Collector that was feature, that featured myself and a lot of other people with like the top 20 Nike ID KD7s or something like that. Pretty cool. Um, Reebok Money Treat, if you guys want to see that one. Phone Posit Suede. Black Suede is actually getting a release date, it sounds like, at the end of August. Um, 250 premium price tag. Definitely on my pickup list. Uh, I, I like all black. I mean, Black Suede. I want to see how the suede is on the foam. It's just like kind of an, a layer over top of the posit material, I'm assuming. This one's um, kind of wrapping it up here. I know we have a couple left. But this uh, Sakura Custom by Andrew um, Oi, I think is how you say his last name. He sent me this article. So this is another um, uh, exclusive to Collective Kicks. But check out this uh, this custom. There's tons of detailed pictures in there on that article. And you can see it's that impression. is I think it's actually lasered on the back. He has a super crazy custom box. Really, really nice job on the custom. He did a custom pair of Tiffany's. That I featured like months and months ago, but great job and uh, really cool article. I'm glad you sent me the, the images of that. Air Jordan 29 gets the release date. Um, the Shoes Game was a, a newer writer. Um, shout out to them that they wrote that article. Uh, it's it's kind of confusing name because it's not the Shoe Game, and I know the people with the the Shoe Game. So just so you guys know, it's not it's separate. Um, and then also uh, I did my review on the the King's Crown, as you guys know or may not know, I did on my YouTube channel. And Throwback Thursday, LeBron going back to the Cavs. I actually did that video before I went camping, so I was gone on the day that I posted it on Thursday. And then I found out, like, on Friday or whatever that he actually announced that he's going to the Cavs. Just craziness, man. I, I'm still, like, totally confused by that, but pretty wild. And then, obviously, I did a, a review of the KD735,000 degrees. So uh, if you guys want to check that out, feel free. Also, the Instagram hashtags at the bottom. If you guys hashtag Collective Kicks, your pictures will show up down on the bottom area i want to kind of get this to extend over maybe i can get it to to show up in maybe like six or two more spaces over so it like actually looks bigger or maybe on the side or something i just wanted to because at the very very bottom it's not very visible but um i don't know i i'm still working with the 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 layout of the side i do love the scroll over for here if you guys look at images and then click on things i like that um also the release dates has changed a little bit um so the the closing section of this video for you guys, uh, what are you guys picking up this weekend? Are you guys going to be picking up the Wolf Grays? Not much happening. It seems like uh, we've kind of hit hit the wall with releases. There's it's not three five releases every weekend for the, at least a couple weeks, which is great. Um, are you guys going to be picking up the Wolf Gray threes? I'm kind of on the fence. I didn't end up um, putting in my raffle ticket at House of Hoops. So I was there and I didn't even put it in. So I'm kind of like, well, I don't know if I need them or not. I do have a ton of threes. I love the model. Uh, I just, I don't know. Uh, I just bought a new car if you guys missed my video yesterday. So I didn't really think it's probably appropriate to go buy another pair of sneakers this weekend. We'll see what happens. Um, and then the three lap fives, the release date's coming next week. The black three lap fives, which is the best, in my opinion, the best colorway of the three um, that are dropping. So very cool there. And then also later we have the sport blues threes in August, which is going to be a huge one. And then a bunch of other Kobe and KD drops. Which, by the way, every single pair of KDs that are dropping, uh, as far as I know, are getting their own special custom socks, which cost $30 each, but they're pretty rad-looking socks uh, nonetheless. But anyway, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Longer video as usual. This is kind of... I know some people don't really like this format, but this is a great format for me because I can speak freely to you guys, show you guys, or tell you guys um, 
about the the sneaker releases that are happening or, or any of the articles and give you my two cents on them and just kind of go uh, from that. So uh, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys have a good one and we will catch you guys later. Peace.